everybody, it's Mischievous Mouse, live from Rockwell Arms Scene Music Magazine and Tattoo.com. And I'm at Grove in Anaheim with the one and only DeFauer Lindsay! Woo! Mm, I'm super excited. <laughs> I am, because I'm kind of a super fan. I love, 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 love you guys' new slower song. I love all Thank your you. songs. Thank you. Thank but you before, we get, before we get into that, I mean, I know who you are, obviously. But tell everybody that doesn't know, which there should be nobody that doesn't know this band. But if you don't, who are you, sir? I am Blake Allison. I am the singer and um, guitar player for Devour the Day. Fantastic. We were going to have the bass player in here, but he just said he didn't look sexy enough. And I mean, you, you, I got to say, you got sexy teeth. Your teeth are like some of the prettiest teeth in the world. Oh, really? Yeah, they are. Cool. <laughs> they're, like the, they're like the one bleached ones, but you know, uh, natural. Yeah. Are they real? No, nobody's here. <laughs> See, I, I had to throw them off guard just because, you know, we can't just start an interview seriously. <laughs> well, in that case, what? <laughs> Did that make you blush at all? I tried. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, blushing right now. Or run. Anywho, you guys are on tour. Who are we touring with? Skillet and Sick Puppies. Not a bad lineup. Can you tell us all what's going on? Like, what is your road stories? Any road stories you want to share? Um... Well, it's a good uh, Christian market tour, which is new for us, but, you know, at first we were kind of nervous about that, but uh, when we got out here, we realized that there's not much of a difference between our bands. I think the only real difference is that we don't, we don't play, uh, we don't write any uh, praise songs, but our message is still the same, and I, I think that the people that are coming to the shows know that, and we seem to get a good response uh, every night, so... Your guys' lyrics are amazing, and you guys, you know, I mean, I can see kind of why they might say that. Like, Faith, I love, love, I'm super fan of that song, um, and that, that's one of my favorite all-time lyrics of all songs. But you also have a newer song, Dash, video out. Do you want to tell me about that? Um, yeah, that, that would be The Bottom, which uh, we just shot a video for. We uh, wrote and directed it ourselves, and uh, it's... Uh, it was a very revealing uh, video. You know, I, I think that when you mix music and, and video at the same time, you can really drive home whatever your point is. And so um, we decided that if we were going to make this video, if we were going to be honest with ourselves, then we needed to be honest with the people that were uh, listening to it so, or watching the video. So if you watch that, then you pretty much know exactly what's happened in Joey and I's uh, endeavors or careers or lives so um i think that it's uh you know it's a special piece i that song makes me the, the song makes me cry it makes me i just love it because it's sad but it doesn't need to have hope and it's honest and it's i I, I, I fucking love that song like and i saw the video for the first time and i think i i'm pretty sure i wore it out on, on the youtube i fucking love this song I like all your music. The great thing about Devour the Day, if you guys do not know this, is you can listen to their music, and it's all good, but it's never one of those bands where if you've heard one song, you've heard them all. Because you guys like, you know, there are some bands like, okay, they have that one sound, so you you know it no matter what. And you guys, know, I mean, you know, you guys, we know your voice and stuff, but I mean, the music is so different. You go from, like, something that makes you want to run and beat the shit out of somebody to some song that makes you want to sit in the corner and cry and hug a puppy. It's just, yeah. Uh, well, we just our musical taste changes uh, every day, so we uh, have these, I guess you could say these um, checklists of song song ideas that we that we you know we just want to create as much art as we can, and so it depends on the, how we're feeling that day if we want to write something aggressive or you know something meaningful. It just so we just we just write it. So who who does it? I mean, how do you guys write? Is it just like one person that does the lyrics, or do you guys kind of everybody pitches in, or how does this work? Joey and I just bounce best back. Um, we bounce back. <laughs> we bounce ideas back and forth until the song is completed. Well, I got to say, whatever you're doing, it's working. Keep it up. Um, now that you know, I've talked to you a lot about music, and we love music here at Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine and Tattoo.com. Oh, but you notice I said tattoo. Do you have anything you want to get naked and show us? No tattoos. No tattoos! Virgin skin. Oh, so if somebody wanted to know you on a personal level, what would be something that you would tell them about you that's not music related? Uh, go watch the bottom video. There's plenty of personal material in there. I love it. I do recommend that video. It is the best. And congratulations to you guys because Devour the Day is in the um, best of best of Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine issue because you guys fucking kick ass. Oh, <laughs> thank you. 
And I'm telling you, again, it's one of those bands that you can listen to every single song and nothing's the same, but they're all fucking great. Hey, this is Blake from Devour the Day, and you're watching Tattoo.com.